put the exit to the one side shorter than to the other side is the flying change to the stiffer side. Yeah? The flying change from left to right is always normally easier than to the other side because from the stiffer side on the left, they are loose on the new inside rain because that's from that nature they are loose there and that's why they change bigger to that side. Mm -hmm. From the right heat center now, that's what we said before, he has to be zip exact than the right rain and he must be soft on the left and that's much more difficult mm -hmm. and if they are a little strong in the inside rain, they didn't jump as much forward as to the outside because always the rain belongs or work to the same hind leg and that's why they have to be soft inside. The can the canter, right the canter is like this, and in the flying change this leg is to <laughs> swing forward. So and if like here he is uh, stiff on the left, but if I have him not loose on this left rein, he not, will not jump forward like that to the left. Yeah, but the second one I think was really good. So yeah, now we can show I don't know what happened. We can show the flying change from counter canter to the normal canter. I said, concentrate, then let you prepare the canter. So, make it uh, loose inside, get it on the outside rail, take your time. And then, now, up here canter, good so. So, and then go straight, and then you change to half diagonal or whole diagonal, counter canter, and then do next long side flying change. And if possible, do it near E. Please, I wait one second. Up here, collecting a little bit more, Claudia. It's too long. So oh, active and forward is okay, but it has to stay on the hand. Take time. Take time and do it later. Oh. And you see, he was looking and then he was moving a little left, a little bit right, and then don't do it. Uh, do the flying change when you can prepare, when he's absolutely straight. Do it again. No problem. Sink shoulder forward. Look in the mirror and keep him straight. No. Ah, it was a little tense. Do it again. See, like, at least can you come a little bit more inside. Do it again. Oh, prepare it. Keep it straight. Keep it straight, and then you find change. Bring him up. Good. And walk one. And you can see the difficult in this preparing of the flying change, because when she also because it was a little tense and hot, but that happened absolutely with the young horses. Like for example, she had him in right he can't take straight, and then she tried to make him a little straight with the left rein, and then instead of that the horse keeps straight, he moved with the hind legs to the other side. You saw that, no? Because when he, she tried to prepare, then he was a little strong on this new rein, and instead of being soft to that side, and exacting the right rein first, he tried to be right and left with the hind legs. So and then you have to wait, Prepare as long as you need, and if he's straight, the flying change. Uh, Claudia, same to the other side. And like this, I always, I also would train with young horses. For me, first I start diagonals, then, for example, at the long side, and the next step is, for example, at the short side, because that's not not so much uh, time to prepare. Let me canter. Keep shoulder four, a little bit, so then you make him straight. And I don't do it if he's like that, do it next long side. If like you feel that, when he when she try to do something and he moves so much out left and right, then don't do the flying change. Collect him a little bit more, you get a little too long cloud and too flat. So active and forward is good, but they have to stay on the high legs and they have to stay uphill. So and now you're flying change. They are, and that's why it worked very well, because now it was super good prepared. No? So a circle, and that's for example now the next step is to do it at the short side. It's a little bit more difficult because I have only three, four strikes to make them straight. I'm coming through the corner and then I have only three, four strikes to make them straight and do exactly the flying change. That's why I say first diagonal, then long side, and now do counter canter, and then do the flying change at Z. Up here, collect it, collect it, Claudia. Hey. Not running. Active and uphill. So, and there. Dream up. Very good. And for me also, I tried to use the flying change at the middle of the long, the short side, but 
If I need a little more time, better one strike later and clear and straight than I do it too early coming out of the corner, the horse is 100% prepared. Same on the other side. Stay in counter canter. Exactly. Up here like that. Make it straight, perfect, uphill, three up. Was not as big as the other one, a little shorter behind, but okay. Short break. So next step, for example, was to do it like in a serpentine. We have that in Germany in young class, I don't know international, but you have that like you have to do three or four serpentines with flying change. If you want to try that next. And the same, it's very important after the turn, straight soft on the new inside right and then it's even more difficult to make this flying change 100% straight and then the next turn because at the mistake you often see they come they turn and then they're jumping into the new side huh? that's why first we had the wall that's why we step by step when i try and frame this flying changes why it's different more difficult huh? it's easier like what we say to turn and then jump to that side but to make it like a, like a serpentine and make it flying change 100% straight is more difficult than when you, you have a little the wall and the horse are with one side at the wall. Huh? So yeah, come with this time, start the canter again and do three or four serpentines with flying change on the center line. But really take time that it's absolutely straight. Right. Up here, back him again a little more. Oh. Yeah, well. Wait one second. Yeah, late. Straight. Good. Right table. Up here. Straight. Yeah. That was, but you were, in that moment, that was too early. The horse was not ready. And then next time, if that happens, stay counter counter. Or go on the same hand again. Try again. And only do you fly and change, off it now, now light off, up here, light off it and change. No. Again, it was a little late with your eight. Collect him, collect him now. Collect him, make him straight, prepare and change. That was fine, that was super prepared. The same if you want in the other direction, then it's enough. So, like in this serpentine, collect him a little bit more when you, when you turn. Same, only once on the right. The left one was really good now. When you turn, collect him a little bit more. Make him really stay just before you turn. I need I need to take it back from back stop. Not faster, not faster here. I know you want to make him back stick up here, but don't let him run. So now a light off, collect him a little bit more, collect him a little. Yeah, make him straight, prepare it. Okay. Do the same again with walk. Now do try a serpentine and walk on the center line. Good. And again from the right. And sometimes if you feel it, now he gets nervous because he knows exactly the flying change is there, then you have to change it. Same with the young horse, then I don't do it. Then I do, for example, a few transition walk canter, canter walk. Once more. Uphill, uphill, not faster. Good so. I would say you keep that, and that's enough with the serpent. Walk a little bit. Very good, Claudia. Hey, that was not good. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Take a snuffle and then do a good transition to walk. Uh, prepare it, collect it, sit on the seat, prepare it, make it loose inside. Mm. Yeah, you did a lot of transition, that's okay, but you have to correct. That's very important. We have to be very strict and very, very concentrated our work. So and if I want to transition, can I oh, ah. And if I want to transition to walk, then I have to do it correct. And if he's trotting, then I have to do it again. I think that is very important for the whole training, that we are very strict and very concentrated and very straight. Huh? If we work with that. So, this horse is, for example, if a horse is like me, so sure of that, then it's very easy to go from, like, from this changes to four times of three times. But always, the important is only do the next line change when the horse is good prepared. Only in the test. Sometimes I have to make my compromises and I have to form it. Even if it's not really good and he's crooked, I have to do my change. But only then, only in the test at the show. Never at home and not in the warm-up area. If I try to do four tempies and after the third one, it gets crooked or hot or straight, then I don't do it. And I wait, I do five uh, or six strikes and then I do the next flight change. But I, I would like to emphasize that it's absolutely 
important that there is a fluency in the in the movement of the change and that the upper tendency is maintained and also that the ground cover stays there or if the, the character itself has to be uh, correct that the change has to have the same uh, kind of movement and the same quality than the character before and afterwards and uh, what we also could see is that it's important that the horse remains calm and straight and doesn't lose the balance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.